The Il-1-14300 is a regional turboprop aircraft that was developed domestically in Russia. The Dash 300's initial three units are priced at approximately 4 billion rubles each, which is approximately equivalent to 44 million US dollars per aircraft. It is anticipated that the price of subsequent aircraft will be approximately 2.6 billion rubles each, which equates to approximately 29 million US dollars per plane as a result of repricing and increased localization of production. This decrease in cost is a result of the Dash 300's competitive positioning against comparable regional turboprop aircraft on the global market, which was achieved through the streamlining of manufacturing processes and the sourcing of domestic components. Anton Alikhanov, the Russian Minister of Industry and Trade, has stated that this pricing is competitive and roughly equivalent to Western analogs, including the Bombardier Dash 8 and the ATR series which serve comparable market segments. The Dash 300 is a viable option for operators seeking a regional aircraft within this price range as it is priced similarly. The ATR 72600 is a significant competitor of the Dash 300 when compared to its Western counterparts. The ATR 72600 is priced between 25 and 28 million US dollars on a global scale. This price is subject to change based on the contractual terms and specific configuration that purchasers have agreed upon. The Dash 8400, another prominent turboprop in the regional market, has been reported to have a price range of 27 to 32 million US dollars. Nevertheless, it is crucial to acknowledge that de Havilland Canada, the manufacturer, is prioritizing the resale programs and thorough modernization of existing Dash 8400 aircraft as new aircraft are no longer being manufactured. The availability and pricing of Dash 8 aircraft are influenced by this secondary market dynamic. The manufacturers of the Dash 8 and ATR have outlined strategies to maintain and develop their product lines over the next 25 years. Looking ahead, de Havilland Canada is contemplating the introduction of an improved model of the Dash 8 by the conclusion of this decade. A formal decision is anticipated in 2025. The company is currently conducting interviews with airline consumers to ascertain their preferences regarding the features and enhancements they would like to see in a future generation aircraft. The strategy is to significantly modernize the current Dash 8 platform by integrating new engines, enhancing fuel efficiency, and modernizing avionics and cabin interiors rather than creating a completely new design. Until the introduction of this new generation, de Havilland Canada will continue to provide support for the Dash 8400 fleet through overhaul and upgrading programs, guaranteeing that these aircraft will remain operational until at least the late 2030s. ATR, in contrast, remains the leading Western manufacturer of regional turboprop aircraft, with a particular emphasis on technological advancement and sustainability. The company is currently engaged in the modernization of its ATR-42 and ATR-72 models by implementing projects that are designed to reduce emissions, improve fuel efficiency, and integrate advanced digital systems. ATR intends to preserve its market leadership in the decades ahead by investigating hybrid and potentially completely electric propulsion systems as well as by integrating next-generation flight control technologies. These endeavors enable ATR to maintain its competitiveness and relevance in a market that is becoming more concerned with operational efficiency and environmental impact. The Brazilian Embraer EMB-120, which is no longer in production, is among the other competitors in the regional turboprop market. It is still available on the secondary market for prices ranging from 2 to 5 million US dollars. Currently in the certification phase, the Xi'an MA700 from China is an emerging competitor with an estimated price of 20 to 25 million US dollars. The intended price of the Mitsubishi Space Jet, a regional jet project in Japan, is approximately 40 million US dollars. However, the project has been suspended. The Antonov N140, which was manufactured in Ukraine and Russia, has been discontinued.
It was originally priced at approximately 15 to 20 million U.S. dollars. These aircraft are indicative of a competitive landscape that is diverse in terms of technological maturity and market presence. The Dash 300's future prospects are conflicting. However, it has potential, particularly in Russia and countries that have restricted access to Western aircraft due to geopolitical or economic constraints. After repricing, the aircraft's competitive pricing renders it an appealing alternative for regional operators in the Commonwealth of Independent States, Iran, Cuba, Asia, and certain regions of Africa. Nevertheless, the Dash 300 is confronted with substantial obstacles, such as a relatively small service and maintenance network, limited certification outside of Russia, and technological deficiencies in areas such as engine performance, avionics, and fuel efficiency when contrasted with other Western aircraft. The technological disparity may widen over the next decade as Western manufacturers invest aggressively in ecological innovations and digital technologies. The Dash 300 has the potential to capitalize on opportunities despite these challenges by increasing the scope of production, localizing components, and providing sustained government support. This would allow the aircraft to secure a substantial portion of the domestic market and select favorable foreign markets, particularly if restrictions on Western aircraft supplies continue. The Dash 300's market position will be dependent on continuous modernization initiatives, such as the integration of new engines, updated avionics, and improvements in fuel efficiency over a 25-year horizon. Without these upgrades, the aircraft is at risk of becoming obsolete in the next 10 to 15 years in comparison to newer generations of ATR models, a prospective new Dash 8, and emerging Chinese competitors. In summary, the Dash 300 is priced in a similar range to the ATR 72600 and Dash 8400, but it is presently behind in terms of technology and global support infrastructure. Dash 8 and ATR are both in the process of developing new generations of aircraft that prioritize digital innovation and environmental sustainability. The regional turboprop market is anticipated to become more competitive in the coming 25 years, with a potential increase in the influence of Chinese manufacturers and new entrants. The Dash 300 is most likely to succeed in Russia and its allies if the government consistently provides support and modernizes it. In the long term, it may face difficulties competing on a global scale if these factors are not present. Now, do you think the Dash 300 can compete with its Western counterparts? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.